Good morning, folks. Today we're watching the sun get a bit fidgety. An interesting article came out about last October's solar events. Earth is in an uptick and it may intensify soon. First up, hello little sun diving comet, and goodbye little sun diving comet. In and done. The sun was having fun with plasma the last day, splashing around like in a pool, twisting the noodle around like a baton until the lifeguard made him put it away. He could put a sunspot's eye out with that thing. Here's the plasma re-entering the sun where the blue arches come down south of the filament's previous position there. Let's come to spaceweathernews.com and look at the last day on our star to reveal that a fidgety sun won't violate the earth-facing quiet effect. Minor pops facing us, and none produced anything significant in terms of an eruption. Solar flaring remains down in the dumps, and where is his backup? No help for flaring, really, as the lone active region has only one real umbra, positive, spread from negative penumbral and plague areas. Solar wind telemetry shows the solar wind speed in yellow continuing to rise. The slow onset over days, however, won't disrupt us too much, and even at peak speed of the stream here, Earth is doing just fine. Of course, there are more on the way. The dark corona holes here have already set their stream towards Earth. It's southern negative extensions of the south solar polar fields and related IMF, so of course, with the southern negative fields being stronger right now, those geomagnetic effects on their way to Earth should be more significant, and we should also be seeing an uptick beneath our feet. Top story there is in the Philippines, where a volcano erupted yesterday afternoon. We also had unusual location upticks at the North Pole and along the Indian Ocean Ridge. Oklahoma still tallying up their fracking quakes daily as well. Today's top article. As so often happens, the mainstream has now analyzed a long past solar event and confirmed something we thought we knew. This paper details part one of the one-two punch that knocked out air travel across Sweden on November 4th, just a few days after the event described in this paper. This paper is about a polar radiation storm that ensued from longitudinal coupling and particle acceleration from a CME as Earth crossed a sector boundary. It was relatively significant, but not until the Corona hole stream impacted Earth two days later that the real Earth disruptions began. For more on that airline shutdown and more throughout 2015 caused by solar events, you'll need to watch section one of Observing the Frontier over at suspiciousobservers.org. That's section one, the three on the left side, and the two in the middle below them. United States has another earth spot ripping through, driving storms on one side and freezing cold on the other. You're going to see strong winds continuing across the pond as well. Got pressure and radar around a bunch of top viewer locations and shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the desert. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.